Today, we're going to talk to you all about the spicy curry speed. Uh, we already have this bike in the non-speed version, so the class one, but this year they have it also in the class three version. Some of the things I really liked about this bike, um, it rides very much like your regular bike. Yep, it's definitely a long tail and you can carry a lot with it, but when you're down riding, you hardly even notice that you have that long tail in the rear. Um, part of that, I think, is the overall geometry, but also that smaller wheel in the back. The thing I really like about this is it can go up to 28 miles an hour, and I love to just speed around as fast as I can. <laughs> I also appreciate a speed motor, but I find that 20 to 25 mile an hour is my sweet spot in traffic, and I. I love having the option to do that, but I also know that I don't ever have to push past that 20 mile per hour. So it just gives you the option and your comfort level can be whatever it needs to be. But having the ability to keep up with traffic a little bit more on those 25 mile per hour speed limit streets is actually a safety feature in itself. Yuba is really a veteran in the cargo space. Um, the Spicy Curry series all has this smaller rear wheel across the different model iterations. And it's nice for the rider. You have less of that swing weight. The weight is down a little bit lower. It's nice for the safety of your passengers, just the overall feel of the ride. Um, and you can do a lot of different things with this long tail. A couple of bigger passengers, one little, one small, two little, um, tons of cargo, dogs. Uh, we have another <laughs> staff member who has the spicy curry all terrain and she carries around her dog and it's right. just the best. It comes with beefier mountain bike tires. It comes with a little fork on it. Um, it's just made for riding off-road if you want. The last thing I'll mention about the spicy curry, and this is true for a lot of electric cargo bikes in general, it's a one-size-fits-all frame. So there, if you have a shorter rider and a taller rider in your family, no big deal. Whip it out of your garage, lower, raise the seat, and you're good to go. The other thing to consider in terms of configuration is a dual battery option. And that's really nice if you're somewhere with really steep hills or if you are often having a heavy load in the rear. Um, or if you're going the distance, you can camp on this thing. The dual battery gives you peace of mind and also just that longer range, obviously. For sure, and then you all, you have the maximum amount of torque as well. So yeah, you can turbo it. Yeah. The <laughs> so you can get up anything. <laughs> Go as fast as you can, as long as you can, like you like to do. <laughs> well, we love the spicy curry. Actually, Amy's going to ride me around on it now, so we'll see you guys later. Come check it out. <laughs>